So this video is how to use the ERDP ML's multi-level function, which is found in the dive planning mode. Let's use an example question to show how to use it. You are planning a multi-level dive. The first level will be 120 feet for 12 minutes. The second level will be 80 feet for eight minutes. And the third and final level, 40 feet for 50 minutes. What will your ending pressure group be? Well, I always like to draw diagrams to help me uh, illustrate what the question is asking me. In this situation, I've drawn a slightly different diagram to what you're used to before. This is trying to illustrate the three different levels described in the question. So once I have this staircase style diagram, I can enter the depth and time of the deepest level and then the pressure group that I would be in as I ascend from that first level up to the second level. I can then put the depth and time of the second level and the pressure group and the depth of time of the third level and the pressure group. So now we start entering the numbers from the question. 120 feet is the depth of the first level and 12 minutes is how long we plan to stay there. The second level according to the question is 80 feet, which we can enter in. And we plan to spend, according to the question, eight minutes at the second level. And then the third and final level is 40 feet. So we can enter that into our diagram. And we plan to spend 50 minutes there. So we can enter that into our diagram. Once we have all that information in our diagram, we can get out our ERDP ML. So I'm just gonna correctly move the windows around and let's turn on the ERDP ML. It's going to make very annoying squeaking sounds, so let's make sure we always turn the sound off when we're in an exam environment. And what mode do we need to go in? Well, we're planning a multi-level dive. Dive planning is the mode we need to go into and click enter. Now it asks us if it's a multi-level dive. In this question, it is a multi-level dive, so we can click on yes. And then it asks us, is it the first dive, yes or no? Well, the question doesn't mention any previous dives, so we can assume that yes, it is the first dive. So at this point, we're asked for the depth of level one. Uh, we have that written on our diagram right here, so 120 feet, and click enter. And the uh, RDP now gives us the no decompression limit for 120 feet. It is showing us the maximum amount of time we could spend at 120 feet. Um, this information isn't that important to us in this situation. The question has already told us how long we're going to spend there. So we can uh, get past this screen by clicking enter. And now we can enter in the amount of time given to us in the question that is uh, down here on our diagram. So we can enter in 12 minutes and it gives us this first pressure group. This is the pressure group we would be in as we ascended from 120 feet uh, up to the second level. So we can uh, write that down on our chart and we can click enter. And then it asks us for the depth of level two, which is 80 feet. It gives us a uh, NDL at 80 feet. We don't need that though. We can just enter in the amount of time given to us in the question. Eight minutes and P is how what pressure group will be in after the second level. We can click enter and enter the depth of the third level in, which is 40 feet and enter. It gives us the multi-level limit for 40 feet, but we know that we plan to spend 50 minutes there. So we can click enter to get past that and then enter in the 50 minutes. It tells us safety stop is required and then pressure group X would be our ending pressure group. 